This is blasphemy. This is madness. I didn't realize this was the moment. This is Sparta! <laughs> yes! Yes! G'day and welcome back to the Coco Couch. My name is Oscar and today we are going to be watching 300. I'm very, very surprised I haven't seen this. This movie's had such a massive influence on pop culture as a whole. Yeah, I've heard about it my entire life, so I'm very, very excited to watch it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I forgot the director's name, but I'm pretty sure he did some of the DC movies and the style that he does is very unique. So I'm very intrigued to see what this movie's like. When the boy was born, like all uh -huh. Spartans, he was inspected. If he'd been small or puny or misshapen, been discarded. Oh, you're kidding me. Mate, that's brutal. Baptized in the fire of combat. What a life. Solid. Never to surrender in service to Sparta, greatest glory he could achieve in his life. Seems like it's the only one you can achieve in your life. <laughs> you have any other choice? The boy was taken from his mother into a world of violence. What? Create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. Oh. Forces them to steal, to kill. Gee, what, at seven years old? Tossed into the wild, will against nature's fury. He would return to his people as Spartan. That's nuts. No wonder the Spartans were so fearsome. I mean, I know this is made up, but still. <laughs> that is not terrible CGI. How old is this movie? What's your plan, buddy? How are you going to outsmart this thing? Nice. He made that significantly easier for himself. It's full. Perfect. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> now he's a Spartan. So how old do you need to be to go through that rite of passage? Because he started when he was seven, right? A king! Oh, king! Leonidas! Oh! oh, okay. So that's Leonidas. Hey, that's, uh, Faramir. An army of slaves, vast beyond imagining. Ready to snuff out the world's one hope. Hmm. Beast approaches. As King Leonidas himself provoked it. Yikes, okay. Leonidas, is that the pronunciation? Mate, look at this style. And the filter, it's very bleak looking. Alright, chill out. Yep, protect each other. Then you fight with your heart. Mmm, Queen Cersei. Ugh. Respect and honor. Respect and honor. I imagine storytelling is a huge part of their culture just because they're all warriors and they need like motivation and inspiration, right? What message do you bring? Earth and water. Do not be coy or stupid, Persian. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? Only Spartan women give birth to real men. Ooh, get wrecked. I mean, she made her point very clear. Xerxes conquers and controls everything. He leads an army so massive, it shakes the ground with its march. Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Yep, that, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> the Spartans are very prideful. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> so choose your next words carefully. It may be your last. Not his last, but could be, you know, the downfall of Sparta, right? The problem is this messenger's hurting his ego so much. You're a madman. Earth and water. Oh, you'll find plenty of both down there. Oh my gosh. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen, threaten my people with slavery and death. For I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. <laughs> yep. This is blasphemy. This is madness. I didn't realize this was the moment. <laughs> madness. This is Sparta! <laughs> yes. Yes. What is down there? What is the point of that hole? Yeah, I didn't realize that iconic scene was happening so soon. Oh, hello. Just waiting for him. We have been expecting you. That guy needs a new skincare routine. More creature than man, even Leonidas must bribe. No Spartan king has gone to war without the Epa's blessing. Hmm. Is that the moon? We face the most massive army. What do you offer? If this was Shakespeare, it'd be his son. Sparta will burn! Her men will die at arms and her women and children will be slaves or worse. Block 
the Persian coastal assault, and we will funnel them into the mountain pass. Their numbers will count for nothing. It's a good plan. We will consult the Oracle. Diseased old mystics, senseless tradition, even Leonidas cannot defy. Is this the Oracle? Well, this is, uh, oh, okay. That's a, uh, that's a bear chest. Only the most beautiful Spartan girl to live among them as oracles. Old wretches, the needs of men. Oh! Sparta will fall. Honor the god. Gee. Pompous, worthless, diseased, rotten, corrupt. That's so dumb. What, so they send the most beautiful girls up there to become oracles and these disgusting men just have their way with them? So wrong. When Sparta burns, you shall bathe in gold. Oh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't. Stop staring at me. Gosh. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's got the kind of confidence I want. <laughs> it would take more than the words of a drunken adolescent girl to rob me of my desire for you. Ah, <laughs> Sweet. What must the king do to save his world when the very laws he has sworn to protect force him to do nothing? Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a sticky situation. Hmm. I mean, she seems to be a very good partner to have as far as giving him advice and understanding him and whatnot. Is this all enough? As you ordered. 300. Yeah, there we go. He's the one telling the story, too. To the death! Hey, that's, uh, that's, what's his name? Didn't expect him to be in this. He is too young. I have others to replace him. Oh. That must be no march. I'm here, just taking a stroll. Three hundred men are my personal bodyguard. Uh, <laughs> What's it? This guy's a traitor, right? Goodbye, wifey. Maybe for the last time. Damn. That must be so tough. Come back with your shield, or on it. Damn. They're so intense. There's no room for softness. Not in Sparta. No place for weakness. Gee, I guess not. On the surface, it sounds very admirable, but it's also like, I feel like that would cause some massive problems as a society. <laughs> we march. So many six packs. <laughs> we were eager to join forces, but you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? Yeah, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. What is your profession? I'm a potter. And you? Uh, what is your profession? He's going to make a point about his handful of men being much more of an army than his. Sparta! What is your profession? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I brought more soldiers than you did. Oof. His only regret that he has so few to sacrifice. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I should have brought more. Who is this guy? Uh oh, Spaghettio. Is that from Xerxes? Xerxes? Is that how you pronounce it? Xerxes? This is a child. <laughs> Damn, he looks like he's seen some shite. Damn, the kid didn't look too much younger than his own son. The villagers, I found them. Oh boy, here we go. Are they all like hung up or something? Have the gods no mercy. What did they do to them? They cannot be killed or defeated. Not these immortals. We'll put their name to the test. Yeah, I should hope so. Oh my gosh. Gee. That's like an abstract artwork. That would have taken so much effort. Like, why? <laughs> Zeus stabs the sky with thunderbolts. Batters the Persian ships with hurricane wind. Glorious. That made it easier. <laughs> they didn't even need a fight. They on our council. Would vote to give all we have and follow Leonidas. And you can arrange for me to speak to the council. Freedom isn't free at all. It comes with the highest of costs. He is loyal. Mate, look at their arms. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> we saw but a fraction of the monster that is Xerxes' army. Right. Why do you smile? I've never met an adversary who could offer me what we Spartans call a beautiful death. Damn. You need to have that attitude as a Spartan for sure. Finally, someone who could actually kill me. Oh, no. gosh. Stop here. I am the emissary. I leaves in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he realizes they're using the same tactic. That's amazing. Your Persian scouts supplied the mortar. 
Damn. Are you serious? That's rich coming from you. Easy. My arm. <laughs> Are you serious? By noon this day, you will be dead men. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. <laughs> That's his response to that whole speech. Who is, is this? Such a rope, good king. Quasimodo? Born of Sparta, I beg you, bold king, to permit me to redeem my father's name, serving you in combat. I'm actually surprised this guy even has, like, like muscles. Raise your shield. Uh. Each fight is a single, impenetrable unit. Yeah. Each Spartan protects the man to his left. A single weak spot in phalanx shatters. I am sorry, my friend. But I... If you want to help in a Spartan victory, yes. clear the battlefield of the dead. Damn. I get it. It's heartbreaking for him, but you, just because you can fight for yourself doesn't mean you're going to... Like, you could be someone else's liability. You are wrong! You are wrong! You are wrong! Do you just create an enemy? Earthquake. No, Captain. Battle formations. Uh... The way he just smiled, too, it's like he wasn't even scared. He knew immediately. This is where we hold them! Nice. But it will be yours for all time. Dude, how are they gonna take them all out? I guess it is very narrow, right? Lay down your weapons. Nope. As if. Oh! <laughs> yes! You couldn't even see he threw it. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Mate. Look how small they are compared to the rest of the army. <laughs> Dude, they barely moved. Oh, mate. Yeah, that was personal. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> the fact that they're able to push them with their shields like that. What, so they're going to do this all day? And what, do they just take shifts? Mate. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Oh, getting some slow-mo action, all right. <laughs> Dude, he's just going ahead of everyone. He doesn't care anymore. Gee. Oh, this is awesome, what? Oh, there goes his leg and his life. Look at my dude, he's so jacked. <laughs> well, let's give him something to drink to the clear. Oh, they're gonna push him all off. Oh, dude, that's brutal. Bye. Mate, these guys are fearsome. Oh, what now? What happened? Oh, here come the arrows that are gonna hide the sun. You didn't stay in the shade. <laughs> Shields, man, shields! Oh my gosh. If you're showing even a slight part of your body, you're dead. What the hell are you laughing at? Fight in the shade! Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's right. <laughs> he taunted them. Recover! Now get the hell out of the way. No Spartan die! Crazy. I think the worst injury we saw in this battle from on a Spartan was that guy's arm getting slightly scraped. <laughs> Mate, they don't stand a chance, even on horseback. We do what we were trained to do, what we were born to do. Yeah, clearly. Oh, at least everyone looks so kind. Your son starts a bogey next year. Difficult time for a Spartan mother. Oh, is he six? You will speak before the council in two days' time. My husband does not have two days. Theron wants what you control. Make him your ally. This is really interesting. It's kind of cool to see the political side of the story with her trying to talk to the council. Unfortunate if anything were to happen to him. Oh, gee. Or to his beautiful mother. Ew. Go away. 
<laughs> my guy's just eating an apple after a victory. <laughs> approaching. Again? They assassinate me. All of Sparta goes to war. Great. Now that's stupid. Wow. What a good attitude. There's no reason we can't be civil. <laughs> there's, there's no reason we can't be civil. <laughs> so look at this guy. Look at the way he's standing. That's hilarious. He looks like he's a, on the stage of a bodybuilding competition. Xerxes. <laughs> he thinks he's all that, doesn't he? Oh. Yeah, clearly. Come, you Gather. He's a giant? You regrettable waste. Consider the fear of your women. Clearly, you don't know our women. I might as well have marched them up here, judging by what I've seen. You have many <laughs> slaves, a few warriors. Damn. Rivals. We'll kneel at your feet if you will, but kneel at mine. Slaughtering all those men has left a nasty feeling. Will be hard. <laughs> I will erase even the memory of Sparta from the history. Oh, this guy's so pissed. The world will know that three men stood against a tyrant. A few stood against many before this battle was over. That even a god king can bleed. Wow, he literally just prophesied over the, the future of his people. You could really feel the, the godlikeness of the, the um, antagonist though, right? Move it, man! Are those Persians high? Unless I miss my guess. <laughs> That's so brutal. Such a massive wall of corpses. If I was a different kind of person, I'd probably be like, oh, oh no, but it's kind of epic <laughs> because it's the Spartans. Soulless. Who's this lot? The They're like guard demons? Xerxes himself, the deadliest fighting force in all of Asia. The immortals. Let's see about that. <laughs> the fatal flaw. Easy to taunt, easy to trick. The mad king throws the best he has at it. Xerxes has taken the bait. Push! Oh. <laughs> Damn, just like that. Oh, damn. Okay, so Spartans are getting killed. Damn, what? Uh-oh. Guys, watch out. What is this thing? Oh. Well, don't take your time, buddy. <laughs> that was way too close. Gave me some time to get up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Boss fight. Yikes. This guy's actually good at fighting. Nice. Nice. Ugh. Gross, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Quickly, decapitate. Yeah. Oh, the way it just peeled off. Show us what is what we can do. Nice ambush. More brawlers than warriors. They make a wondrous mess of things. Brave amateurs. They do their part. <laughs> Even the men that help them fight, they kind of still look down upon. Damn. Yeah, Spartans are just way better. So much for being immortal. My goodness. The man who fancies himself a god feels a very human <laughs> chill. Yes, he's actually afraid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what? A rhino? Wait, how much does this Persian army have? Is he just gonna one-shot it? <laughs> Oh, that's so badass, man. He just he just stood there and smiled. That's awesome. Yeah, you ain't nothing, Rhino. They have flashbangs. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes, come on. And the fragile hearts back to Xerxes' feet. The style was such a interesting choice it makes everything look so much more epic though oh gosh 
This thing looks like it's out of a Dark Souls game. He's displeased with his generals. Oh, well, obviously. He, he disciplines them. You mean he decapitates and murders them. Now they have an Oliphant. Oh my goodness, bro. They're lucky they chose a really good spot to do all this fighting. I feel like otherwise some of these tactics wouldn't work. Piled Persian dead, slippery. Bye. Mate, they're so good at fighting, man. The choreography in this movie is insane. See, the Spartans are the ones that should be known as the Immortals. Their teamwork is just unparalleled. My son! Please don't get hurt. Yep, I knew it. It was one of those moments. You could just feel it. Bro. Ah, oh, dude, just like that. How was no one able to help him then? Dude, imagine witnessing that to your son. The captain breaks wreck. He goes wild, blood drunk. That's why they trained him not to be emotional, but he's turned to the dark side. Oh, this poor man. What a change of events though. At the start of the movie, him being like, I have more sons and then he actually dies and he's lost for words. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Oh, what's this boy up to? Everything you could ever desire, I will grant you, for I am kind. It's a shame because a guy who's deformed like this, right? You'd be like, he might have some rewarding qualities, you know? He's also weak of mind, too. Yes! I want it all! I want to do that, Bob! So easy for this guy. Beautiful night. Go away. I'm told it's been arranged for you to go before the council. I need your help in winning votes to send the army north to our king. All men are not created equal. That's the Spartan code. A queen. Well deserved. <laughs> Gee, dude. You will go before the council, but your words will fall on deaf ears. This guy's disgusting. What do you have to offer in return for my word that I'll help you send our army north? Oh no. This sicko. This will not be over quickly. Ah, poor woman. It's just an eye. God <laughs> saw fit to grace me with a spear. Badass. <laughs> a hunchback traitor has led Xerxes' immortals to the hidden code path behind us. This battle is over, Leonidas. This freaking hunchback. Prepare for glory! Have you gone mad? Stop calling him mad. That's like his trigger. Spartans never retreat. And each among them search his own soul. Search your own. His goatee's magnificent. <laughs> that scratch on the eye is even better. We will stand and fight and die. Mate, this guy's so compelling. An age of freedom and all will know 300 Spartans gave their last breath to defend it. <gasps> Mate, this would have been so awesome being in the studio with all these like absolutely jacked dudes and just like screaming these inspirational words to them. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this poor dad. It's just that I never told him that I loved him the most. Damn. Yep. That he stood by me with honor. So vulnerable for a Spartan now. I have filled my heart with hate. Good. I would be scared of him on the battlefield. Sire, I am fit and ready for battle. That you are. Yeah, exactly. Because he survives, right? Because he's telling the story. I will deliver my final orders to the council. You have a grand tale to tell. That must be tough. Realizing you're probably the only one who's really gonna know about what happened. For the queen. None that need be spoken. It's a shame, but that's kind of what their relationship was like, right? You know, they didn't need to say much. They they knew. A handful stay. Oh, that must suck to walk away from your brothers that you know are gonna perish. Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight we dine in hell. Gee. <laughs> yep. They've just acknowledged, yep, this is it, this is it, this is it, we're gonna die. I hope this goes well. I am here for all those voices which cannot be heard. Three hundred families that bleed for our rights. We are at war, gentlemen. We must send the entire Spartan army to aid our king in the preservation of not just ourselves, but of our children. Hope that a king and his men have not been wasted to the pages of history. Mate, what an inspirational speech. She's just as good at public speaking as Leonidas. Oh, here we go, this asshole. I bet he's gonna... Your husband has brought war upon us. But what of adultery? How dare you? Oh, this asshole, dude. He set her up? Just hours ago, you offered yourself to me. 
this manipulative. This is how liars get what they want. They they literally go off a completely different topic to make their point. This has nothing to do with honor or glory of Sparta. With her inglorious and shabby self. Can someone kill him, please? Yes! Yes! I was not expecting that. This will not be over quickly. Nice. And it's the... It's his money for... Oh! Yes! That was extraordinarily lucky. <laughs> Hell yeah! That was great. <laughs> this guy's such a pompous prick. Oh boy. Yeah, completely surrounded. That is not good. Use your reason! Think of your men! I beg you! All he wanted was just to be recognized. You fight for your lands! Keep them! You fight for Sparta! You will be wealthier and more powerful than ever before. If you but lay down your arms, kneel to holy Xerxes. Dude, it defeats the whole purpose of his culture and the Spartans. Mate, he's so jacked. <laughs> I wonder if they um, filmed this scene first because he looks much leaner in this, where earlier in the movie he looks a little bit more like swole. Mate. Again, the style is so unique. I love it. What's he gonna do? Can you just like yeet it at Xerxes? Xerxes? May you live forever. He kneeled. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. It's so against his nature though. You can feel the anguish. <laughs> no. Nope. It narrowed his vision that he must see far. Come on! His shield was heavy, and his target is far away. Gosh. Oh, mate, he was so close to killing him. He did what he said he'd do. He said he'd make him bleed. Took barely a minute. Old ones say we Spartans are descended from Hercules himself. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> the last man standing. Oh no, your face is permanently messed up a little bit. Finally got the death he wanted. It's an honor to die at your side. Oh, that's so awesome. He got to go out like this. To have lived at yours. My queen! My wife. You can die now. You, you did it, buddy. You did it. I love Pretty epic way to die, though. Literally an entire blanket of arrows just for you. <laughs> it's like his way of saying sorry without saying anything. I love scenes like this. It's just music and no words. So much is being conveyed. Remember why we died. Wish was simple. Remember us. That was his hope. Dude. Hey, all our voices. Glad he didn't get into the face. Barely a year ago. But from free Greek, a word was spread that bold Leonidas and his 300 laid down their lives. But for all Greece and the promise this country holds, Xerxes Hordes face obliteration! <laughs> Damn, this guy's compelling. Knowing full well what merciless horrors they suffered at the swords and spears of 300. They stare now at 10,000 Spartans. Yeah, good luck. Damn. <laughs> Gee. An usher in a future brighter than anything we can imagine. Give thanks, man, to Leonidas and the brave 300 to victory! <laughs> Gee. Well. <laughs> 50 guys or so will be very, very inspired, at least. <laughs> Even if the rest of them didn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, that was flippin' epic. <laughs> I feel like um, the choice um, of the, like, the style really elevated this for me. I, I really, really enjoyed seeing, um, like, the filter took a little bit of adjusting for me, like, within the first five to ten minutes. But after that, it just suited everything so well. I feel like the way they went with it um, Zack Snyder with like the very over-the-top um, fight scenes 
um, the slow motion, you know, the, I guess the, the lore of that world, I felt like it suited it very well. It kind of forced you to immerse yourself in this, this very, um, fictional world, um, which was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously look <laughs> in, in actual history, right? I don't know much about, um, this, that time, but I obviously know that, you know, the Spartans had some very questionable ways of doing things and they're certainly not the kind of people that we should look up to. <laughs> but I like that the movie highlighted certain um, traits that they had that were that were pretty awesome, like just their, their willingness to die for a cause and like their fighting and just... I, it was it was cool to see that one small aspect of their culture um, being shown in a way that was just really really cool. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm not I don't want to look too much into it. I just thought it was a very awesome action movie with lots of awesome flipping fight choreography. Like that was so much fun to watch, especially those slow mo moments. I think my favorite moment would definitely be when Leonidas went ahead of everybody in that one fight scene and he was just like taking them down one by one in slow-mo that was pretty cool <laughs> um yeah um obviously the the act the actor that played his wife um who i know as being cersei in game of thrones she was she was very compelling too she really suited the role i thought she did a great job um yeah i i really enjoyed this movie i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves <laughs> i did um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.